Hey everybody, it's Darcy. Hope you're having a great day. So today we're doing something called a discus fish. Now, the uh, couple things about this fish, it's really pretty, like me. <laughs> okay, so I'm kidding. Um, but the, the one nice thing about this one and the reason I picked it, it's a very easy color palette. The discus fish comes in a wide variety of different hues and colors. So that gives you a little bit of, um, what if I said, artistic creativity so that as long as you stick with the patterns from a reference photo, you can kind of mess around with the colors a little bit and it still looks pretty good. Uh, the other thing, the reason I picked this, this is a really easy one to do yourself because essentially you're doing a, a couple layers of glazing and you, it's just very easy because you can put down the light colors first and put to sort of almost random spots on top that are darker and it ends up doing a pretty good, pretty easy. So here we go. Take care. If you like videos like this, please hit like and subscribe and hit that crazy notification button so you know when uh, my videos come out. Thanks a lot. Take care. The discus fish is a popular and very easy fish to watercolor. The patterns are important to follow through a reference photo, but at the same time it's pretty easy. This fish, for example, comes in several different colors. Um, sometimes, in this case, um, it was basically blues and reds, but I did add oranges and purples and yellows and a little bit of green just to match the plants in the background. So from an artistic palette point of view, you can't really do it wrong um, unless you try really hard. I uh, did a lot of glazing in this one. The Just followed the patterns from the reference photo. I'm going to have that on the side there it's just so you can see what I was doing. The One of the important things about this fish is usually when I paint a fish I can see where the gills are and sort of the structure of the scales. That wasn't evident in this fish, but what was evident was you could tell where the gills were because of the color pattern change in the fish. And you can sort of see how I do that right down by the mouth and the eye there. That's where the gills are. But uh, it was important to not just draw a line, for example, where the gills were because you really couldn't see it on these fish. The other thing too is following the patterns that you can see on the back fin the dorsal fin there how they have the long stripes of reds and blues and then followed by the horizontal line of dots you might be saying to yourself why is darcy putting in plants above the tail and it's funny because when i get to the tail you're going to see coming up the tail is actually almost translucent or invisible it's very similar to a glass fish where you can see right through it so I wanted to have that grass in the background um, so that you could actually see the grass go through. See how that, uh, you can definitely tell that the, fit, the tail is in front of the grass, but you could also definitely see behind the tail uh, that the grass is there. And because you can see it, you know it's transparent. This part here uh, was very important. I'm just sort of throwing some loose paint down, some different colors, a little bit of green in there. I'm following the biological pattern of the fish um, and as closely as possible, but I'm being very loose about it. Um, it has those vertical stripes right there that you can see, um, a little bit of spotting. Those are actually about as much of the scale as you can see. But at this point, once it dries, and this is where glazing helps to come in, I really don't care about um, the patterns I just put on the side of the fish because I'm going to go all over it with these dots here. Now again, following the the pattern of the dots, the way I saw it on the picture is important because that's just how the fish is uh, made. And there he is there. So really an easy fish to do. Um, if it looks complicated once you try it, it's really simple because they're just blotches of paint, if I can be blunt. Anyway, hope you have a great day. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and have a wonderful day. Thanks.